a visit to the charming island of Nantucket, local shopping and decorating for the 4th of July is what this week's YouTube video is all about. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're visiting the charming island of Nantucket. And while visiting there, I was so inspired by the decorations and the beautiful flowers that I decided this year my theme was going to be Grand Millennial and we were going to focus around hydrangeas because if you've ever been to Nantucket this time of year, it is an explosion of beautiful hydrangeas. So, come along. We're going to visit Nantucket first, then we'll come back, do some shopping, and start with decorating my fireplace mantle. A little about our trip to Cape Cod, my sister and I love to travel together, and so we took a ferry over to the beautiful island of Nantucket. So sit back and enjoy some music, and let's tour around the town. Now that I'm back home, let's head to Trader Joe's because they always have the most beautiful hydrangeas. I'm going for the dark blue in this design and let's grab those hydrangeas and head to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and see what they have. Now let's head to Hobby Lobby and get some ribbon. And look at their 4th of July decor. Most of it was very rustic, so this wasn't a good location for the Grand Millennial style. Now that we're back home, I'm going to show you how to set up your flowers in a vase. I'm using an old ironstone pitcher here and pulling off all the dead leaves. But the key to this is you have to cut the stem where you want it. Some people say you have to do it on an angle. And then I hammer the end of this, and my sister used to own a florist, and she told me this is what you want to do. Now that we've got all of our flowers in the vase, or iron stone pitcher. Let's set them up with some beautiful red, white, and blue American flags. Now let's set these on the table in the living room and we'll get started on the mantle. Here's a little pro tip. Use a straightening iron to iron the edges of your runners. Now it's nighttime and my daughter Hannah is going to work on the art. This is a watercolor flag that I created where the hydrangeas are in place of the stars. I thought this flag is available in our Etsy shop and I'll put a link in the description. But all you do is print it and then decoupage it onto foam board and frame it. Now we're working on converting a mirror into a piece of art with this block print wrapping paper. Now that we have both pieces of art ready, let's start decorating the mantle. Now we're shopping around the house and grabbing other pieces that have that grand millennial feeling or that Nantucket vibe. So it's day two and I decided I wanted fresh crepe myrtle flowers in the basket on the mantle. Just like the hydrangeas, I'm using some plant food and I'm putting them in a jar and then placing them in the basket. Mm -hmm. 
Remember that trip to Hobby Lobby where I got some ribbon? Or well, here's one place I decided to use it. Okay, so now that we're finished decorating, it's time to take a 4th of July home tour, starting at my front door. But before we take the tour, I have to share something with you. Hydrangeas are so hard to keep fresh. <laughs> After a couple of days, they just wilted. I tried everything and I couldn't get them back to life. So I had to go back to Trader Joe's and get some more. And unfortunately, they didn't have the darker blue, but they had the lighter blue. So you'll see lighter blue hydrangeas on the table in the home tour. And then also the beautiful white crepe myrtle flowers. I exchanged those for some faux white hydrangeas that I found at Home Goods. They turned they were so beautiful and I felt like it was worth it to put them in there because then I don't have to keep changing it and I can just enjoy it all summer long. So Let's get started at my front door and take a 4th of July tour of my house. I hope you enjoy. So what did you think? Did you enjoy today's video, our trip to Nantucket, some shopping, and then helping me decorate? I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you also will just take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell so you can join us again next week with a reminder. <laughs> again, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful 4th of July, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.